good day. The Western Army on TV represents all the important news of these days. Today's broadcast. Tribute to Art and Shalifan Memorial Day. The historical Manua channel of Western Armenia was left to the worm of fate. The United States should promote the misc process to achieve in Armenia settlement preserving Artsakh. Frank Polo. Artsakh declares quarantine in Stepanakert and other towns from November 4 to December 1. Bear Biden to Erdogan. You are not my friend, although you are my ally. Gazette Duvar website presents the section Western Armenia. Turkish and Russian sources reported in a possible Turkish offensive in Syria. Armenia Armenian and foreign photographers with their works presented Java to the world in a new way. The Presidential Council of Western Armenia, the National Council, the Government and the Parliament of Western Armenia meet in memory of Arden Shalefian. Arden Shalefian, whose roots are in Mush, was born in 25 September 1951 and grew up in Constantinople. He graduated from the University of Lausanne, Switzerland. He had a doctorate in economics and with his knowledge he helped various financial and manufacturing companies around the world. For over 12 years he was the chief advisor of Frank Muller and member of the Broad of Dry directors and chairman of Artsakh Bank. Arten Shalafian was a member of the Presidential Council of Republic of Western Armenia and founder of the State Television of Western Armenia. He devoted his life to restoring the rights of Armenian people and defending the sovereignty and rights of the state of Western Armenia. Arden Shalafian, president of Mitani Foundation, was the initiator of many books on the ancient history of the Armenian nation. His main concern was the restoration of the historical truth of the Armenian nation. Arden Shalafian, economist, intellectual, historian, polyglot, human rights activist, statesman, ardent defender, and just a man of Western Armenia who left us suddenly. At that time, he was still working on the organization of the centenary of Treaty of Serbs. The Presidential Council of Western Armenia, the National Council, the government and the parliament of Western Armenia jointly express their memories to his wife, children and his family and friends. Rest in peace. Armenak Abrahamian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. The Shamaram Channel, built by the Urartian King Menua in the one province of Western Armenia, also known as the Menua Channel, was originally intended to provide the region with drinking water. Now this beautiful historical building has turned into a garbage dump. The Shamaram Channel, with a length of 51 kilometers, considered a miracle of water architecture in the world, gives life to the land through which it passes and irrigates a total of 5,000 hectares of land. One of the most important historical values of one is the Shamaram Channel, which has been preserved for about 3,000 years and has survived to the present day, but is now on the agenda due to pollution and disappointing condition. Due to inattention, the channel is under threat of destruction. Western Armenia is against all this and similar phenomena that is aimed at destroying our historical heritage. The co-chairman of U.S. Congressional Commission, Frank Pallon, held an online meeting with the State Minister of Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglanan, regarding which he made a corresponding entry on Twitter. I met with the State Minister of Artsakh. We discussed the urgent need for humanitarian assistance to Artsakh. The United States should also promote the MISC process in order to achieve an Armenian settlement preserving Artsakh, the congressman wrote. On November 1, the President of Republic of Artsakh had a meeting on the epidemiological situation in the public. Quarantine will be declared in Artsakh capital Stepanakert and several urban communities starting from November 4 to December 1, aimed at preventing the further spread of COVID-19. The respective decision was appointed today during a consultation led by Secretary of the Security Council of Artsakh, Vitaly Balasanyan. Community leaders attending the meeting presented draft discussions on declaring quarantine from November 4 to December 1. The draft also presented the measures and the restrictions to be applied during the quarantine. The United States openly makes it clear that the problem in the relationship with Turkey are solely related to the personality of Turkish leader Recep Erdogan, who fluctuates between the status of an ally and an enemy. During the G20 summit in Rome, Turkish President Recep Erdogan met with the US President Joe Biden. The first conclusion of the meeting, all attempts by Ankara to enter to the full-fledged bilateral dialogue with Washington outside the formats of various international meetings have not been crowned with success. The White House attributes this to ongoing tensions and strategic differences between Washington and Ankara. The full version of the material is on our official website. 
We were glad to know that our colleagues journalists of Gazate Duvar website have a section called Western Armenia. By visiting this website, you can read an article on the possible participation of Kurds in the genocide committed against the Armenians of Western Armenia in the period from 1894 to 1923. In this section, it will be interesting to study the basics of constitution of the Hamid regiments and their participation in the massacre against the Armenians of Western Armenia. The additional staff of the Western Armenia TV can help the Gazate Duvar website by providing with all documents and articles on these topics. Turkey has concentrated more than 30,000 soldiers and civilian border. The army is composed and ready for offensive to finally resolve the issue related to Kurdish militants in Syria, Turkish sources said. In its turn, the Russian Novosti wrote, the Turkish army together with the Syrian formation may already launch a military operation against Arab Kurdish units. A possible Turkish attack in Syria contradicts the interests of both Washington and Moscow, but official Moscow is very cautious in its relations with Turkey and does not make harsh statements. The Russian state news agency, however, reports that Turkey is preparing two military operations in Syria, one in Iblid in the northwest and a second in the province of al Hasakah in the northeast. The photo exhibition Let's Discover Javak presented the work of participants of exhibition. The Foundation Assistance to Javak, in cooperation with the Ministry of Education and Science of the Republic of Armenia, the National Association of Armenian Photographers and the General Armenian Charitable Union organized a three-day photo exhibition Let's Discover Javak. The participants of the program, Armenian and Georgian photographers, visited different districts, villages and cities of Javak for three days in a row, got acquainted with the life and customs of rural settlements and of course photographed everything that is surprised, delighted and impressed them. This exhibition is very important in terms of presenting various spheres of Javak's life. Here you will see the view, work, place and church, home and nature of Javak. The exhibition which will be open November 10 is hosted by the Armenian General Charitable Union. Now let's watch Petrosyan's Tamzara. The full version of this video is available on our official website. This was all for today. Goodbye.